Yo, chill, it's just a trap. Yeah. She a little bad. Hit her with the bag. Yeah. Put it on the tab. Don't know how to act. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about Best Lace Wigs though. This is an affordable human hair company and y'all, they never disappoint. The unit that I'm gonna show you all today is a 360. Oh, and it smells really, really good. I love that about their units. It has these big chunky curls already in the unit and that's gonna save you a lot of time for those who do not want to actually curl the hair. And y'all, I got the whole front bleached. You can opt for, I believe, two inches of the front to be bleached and it'll be less expensive but y'all get the whole front they do a very good job bleaching the hair this lace is very soft and durable however the color is a little off but I'm going to show you all how we're going to tint that later and the parting space is really really natural so as you all know I have a low hairline so one of the first things that I do when I get a unit is try it on to see if it's going to cover my hairline but this one is a 360 so it wasn't fitting me as well as it would if the lace wasn't on it. So I decided to take it off so that I could show you all the pre-plugged hairline, which looks so bomb and so, so realistic. So after I do this, I'm gonna show you guys this lace again, which is amazing, but we're gonna tint it. So I showed you all in my last video, and if you haven't seen that one, check it out, that I started using this really good lace tint by Wig Gurus. If you all have not tried this, you need to try it. Now I know in the past, I used to always rave about the Sally Hansen Airburst Spray, which is still good, but you do get some flashback when you take photos in certain lighting. But this particular lace tint is so great, and it looks wonderful in whatever type of lighting that you're in. And I'm gonna show you all that later. The lighting that I'm in is rather harsh compared to the natural lighting that I generally film in so you all are going to see what that looks like before moving on to putting the unit on your head you do need to blow dry where you place the lace tint you could leave it turned over on the opposite side but I didn't do that just do whatever's the most convenient for you but at least allow for it to either air dry or blow dry it for about five minutes also because this unit is a 360 lace unit you will need to cut the lace in the front and in the back so I'm just showing you all what the back hairline looks like feel free to tweeze it as much as you desire or you can leave it as is, especially if you're not planning to wear the unit up. So now we're just going to try it on and see how it fits on my low hairline. What I did notice right away is that the front parameter was still a little too light. So I am going to use a different color on the front, but not where the scalp area is. So I'm going to use finest mocha just around the front parameter. So I'm just spraying it just maybe like an inch or so in the front. And then I'm gonna stipple it in with my foundation brush, blow dry it, and then proceed to put the unit back on. And I felt like it matched so much better. And guys, you don't necessarily have to use another color in the front. You can use your foundation color, but that's just what I decided to do. And y'all, this unit fit my low hairline perfectly. <laughs> I was so happy about that. So now we're just gonna proceed to install and we are gonna be using the bed head. So after laying
laying the unit down, I did feel like I needed to add just a little bit more of the lace tint in the color Finest Mocha. And so I'm gonna do so using a little eyebrow brush and I'm just gonna spray a little bit on and then proceed to put that on the front hairline just a bit more. Probably not necessary. I'm probably like seeing it a little more because of the type of lighting that I'm in. But even in this lighting, y'all, this hairline looks so good. This lace is amazing. And y'all, I love that this unit already came with the big waves. It saved me so much time. I didn't have to curl it at all. So right now I'm just spraying on the Sebastian Shaper and I like spraying that on my hairline along with the area near my parting space and then following that up with a hot comb. If y'all have not tried that technique, it will get your unit looking so sleek and so, so fly. You have to try it. And it lays the hair so flat. I love, love, love this technique. Oh, and also this holding spray also gives the front just the right amount of shine that you need. And it just causes everything to just come together so, so nicely. It's come to me. I got what you need. Just go. Ooh. I'll make you my own. good does this look this looks like it melted into my skin it looks so phenomenal now i'm just going to use a wide tooth comb just to comb out the curls a bit and i did get this unit in length 18 as well as 180 percent density now if you do go down to 150 it will be under 200 dollars but i like big voluminous hair so i really like this density but it's still affordable and it just looks absolutely phenomenal let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried best lace wigs they really be coming through y'all so these are the finished results and guys this unit would also be so bomb as a bob if you were to get length 14 length 16 it's gonna look so so cute especially with the spring coming so you guys be sure to check the description box for the links and all the specifications i'll also put the products that i use down in the description box i'm going to show you all in a minute what this unit looks like with sort of a side part flip over type situation you could put this unit up it's so versatile you can do a number of things with it the styling options are really limitless i hope that you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe also follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i look forward to seeing you all in my next video bye guys promise you baby that i won't waste your time i don't want to waste your time make sure you say